Hi guys, what's up? Natasha here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a little Q&A. I realize I do them all the time on my Instagram stories, but I never do them nearly as often on my YouTube. So I thought I would just catch up with you guys. I'm currently in Canada shooting a project, which is why my hair is a little bit more red and dark than normal. And I have a day off, so I just thought I would get cozy with you guys and we can chat. And without further ado, here we go. The first question is, where do you get your glasses from? Which this question got asked so many times. I feel like it does every single time that I do a q and I get my glasses from glassesusa.com. I want to say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. These are the frames that I've been rocking recently. They're like a little pink moment. I also have my blue frames that I've been wearing a ton. And I don't know if you could tell, but I'm really into like a colored frame as of late. I think especially during the winter time and fall time because I tend to wear such neutral colors that it's fun to add a little bit of a pop of color, even if it's something dull. I know this isn't like super neutral, but you know, it goes with the outfit, so <laughs> it's fine. But other than that, I do have a bunch of color frames that I love and I tend to wear a lot of like black and white and creams during the fall and winter time. And then it's fun to just have a little shade of something in there and it adds a little bit to the outfit. They're from glassesusa.com. You guys know the drill. By cutting out the middleman, glassesusa.com offers high quality prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off of retail prices. And the amazing thing is that you don't have to leave your house. You can chill in bed or on your couch and shop for your frames. They have over 9,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses and they have amazing in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, which is the ones that I feel like I probably have the most of would be their in-house brands. And then they also have designer brands like Oakley, Prada, Ray-Ban, Gucci. I also love that they have the virtual try-on which helps me pick out my glasses so much quicker. I can just upload a picture of myself and then literally add the glasses and the frames to see what I would look like with them on. It's also really important to me that I protect my eyes as much as I can because I spend so much time on the computer editing content, videos, reading scripts, whatever it may be. I spend a majority of my day on my phone and on my computer working and they offer the blue light blocking coating as well, which has been such a game changer for me. I personally think the price point is unbeatable because a complete pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses start at only $30 and basic free prescription lenses are included with every order including the premium brands. You can add any prescription to almost any pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses, which has been amazing because prior to finding sunglasses on glassesusa.com, when I would find a cute pair that I liked and they didn't have my prescription in them, I would have to sacrifice not seeing because I have to wear glasses 24 seven and I also don't always wear contacts. So I would literally go blind basically when I would wanna wear sunglasses and now I have all of my sunglasses filled and I can see properly and it's amazing and they have such cute styles. These are some of the other frames that I have. When I find a frame that I'm obsessed with, I'll usually just get it in different colors because I know that it works for my face shape and they're comfortable. It's kind of embarrassing. I have an entire section in my closet, like a drawer that is just dedicated to my frames. I feel like I have new ones being shipped and sent to me all the time because I just love them. I feel like the price point is amazing. They ship fast. It's such high quality. To me, the whole experience is so easy and enjoyable compared to going into the eye doctor or into a store buying frames and then waiting for your prescription to be filled like it takes so much time and it's so much effort and this is so easy and a no-brainer that I just love it and that's why I continue to shop there and will continue to shop there so if you guys are looking to buy yourself a frame or because it's Christmas time if you're looking to get somebody a gift you have a family member or a friend who wears glasses I highly recommend getting them a pair of frames from glassesusa.com so make sure you guys check out the link in my description to visit glassesusa.com and get yourself a cute pair of frames. Okay, moving on with the rest of the questions. How has your health been since having your tonsils out? I just had mine out a month ago. First of all, I'm so happy you got them out. I feel like that was one of the best things I've ever done for myself ever. I feel like my health has been so, so, so much better since having them gotten out. I haven't got sick nearly as much. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was literally getting sick every two weeks. And I feel like every time I vlogged, I was getting juice shots or, you know, medicine for something because I was sick and now it's so much better. And it's definitely helped my immune system. And I feel like the my tonsils were just harboring so much infection. And one of my friends actually just got his tonsils out and I'm so excited to see like his difference also because I feel like him and I had a lot of the same things with our tonsils we had like abscesses and like all this stuff that you guys probably don't want to hear about but 
I am so grateful, seriously, that I got my tonsils out. And if you are someone who deals with like getting sick super often, I would recommend getting it checked out. I don't know because prior to that I was honestly living in the worst state and I hated it and now having it out I'm so thankful. If you were to move somewhere outside of California, where would it be? I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel before, but Sheila and I were actually planning on moving to Nashville earlier this year, which didn't end up happening. We obviously live in Los Angeles and we have an apartment together, but prior to that, even last year, we were in talks about moving to Nashville for the year and we were looking at houses and apartments and all that stuff. I think it obviously worked out for the best that we didn't move there because we're obsessed with where we live now. But at the time we were seeing if we wanted to try something new. I personally would love to move to Miami, but I feel like I'll definitely just get a place there when I'm older because I love it. and I. It's also like part of where I grew up and I lived in Florida for 10 years. So Miami feels like home to me, honestly. And I love it every single time I go. I just feel like I'm home. I feel like that'd probably be the only other place. New York, I've thought about before. And also Sheila and I like kind of debated if we should like just pick up and move to New York. But I think uh, I like driving a little bit too much and I want to be next to the beach. I've actually never not lived next to the beach like my whole life given that i feel like it would be just a little weird to like live in a city city so i guess if anywhere probably miami but i'm so happy in los angeles right now and i love it and it's great we're living in a totally different area than where i lived obviously where i grew up but then where i was in my old apartment if you guys remember it's in a different area so i really like it and it's fun our place is coming together i seriously sheila and i both never want to leave our space we just love it and it's the best so I'm happy where i am right now also so many of you guys have been asking for an apartment tour which i will be doing an apartment tour or like some version of an apartment tour soon just not all of our furniture has come yet which i know we've been living there for like pretty much almost a year but there's just two or three Three things that haven't come yet so we're just waiting on that and then once we get that we'll we'll be good to go tell us about the movie you shot earlier in the summer so I shot a lifetime biopic called don't sweat the small stuff the Christine Carlson story it actually already premiered so I don't know where you would be able to watch it if I do find out I'll try to link it in the description but it is a story about Christine Carlson and Richard Carlson and their family and it's incredibly heartbreaking and tragic but also so beautiful and I was really honored to be a part of their story because it is so touching. I got the privilege to act alongside Heather Locklear and Ella Dorsch. Heather is seriously one of the funniest people I've ever met and I love her and Ella became like my sister and I just am obsessed with her. So I had the best time filming. We shot up in Nashville for three and a half weeks. I actually don't even remember how long it was. It feels like ages ago, but it was the most amazing experience. And I, again, I'm just so grateful to be a part of that story and I feel really honored and blessed. So if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think. And and if you haven't seen it, let me know where you watch it because I actually don't know where to watch it because I just watched it like when it premiered. How did you spend your Thanksgiving? So this year was actually a little bit odd. I didn't spend it at home number one and I didn't really celebrate Thanksgiving because I was working on set this year. Like I said, I'm up in Canada right now filming and we filmed on Thanksgiving and here they celebrate Thanksgiving like a month prior to when like American Thanksgiving is. So we didn't really celebrate it. Although catering did have Thanksgiving food and it was really good. We had stuffing and turkey and gravy and mashed potatoes and everything. And it was actually really, really good, which I was so excited about because I thought oh, I'm gonna get to set and it's probably just gonna be regular catering, but it actually was Thanksgiving food. Yeah, this is my second year in a row actually that I haven't technically had like a proper Thanksgiving because last year I was sick and so my family went to my grandma's house and I was just home alone the whole time. Next year I'm like making it a point. I need to do a proper Thanksgiving with my grandparents and my family and honestly it is one of my favorite holidays besides Christmas and my birthday which like isn't a holiday but it I consider it one and I feel like any Leo would relate. I love, love cooking with my dad and baking pies and cookies and like the whole everything. It's amazing. So anyways, that's what I did for Thanksgiving. Do you and Sheila plan on adopting a pet? I literally texted Sheila last night, can we get a dog? And she responded, I want a cat. Sheila's allergic to cats, so I... don't know how that's gonna make sense. She said she will get over it. 
whatever that means. We actually did look at getting a hairless cat and we couldn't find anything, but I do, I want a pet so bad, but there's so much responsibility that comes with taking care of a pet. And I still take care of Boris a ton. So I think right now we probably won't, but honestly, I want one so bad. I want just some type of pet, like, to have around the house, like a little small dog, even though I'm not a small dog person, I'm definitely like a big dog person, but a hairless cat or a regular cat, but a, Sheila's allergic, so I don't know who she's fooling that she said she, that we're gonna get a cat. We're definitely not gonna get a cat. Someone asked what my In-N-Out order was and I just wanna answer this because I love In-N-Out. A hamburger with everything on it, no cheese, but like onions, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles and then I do mustard and ketchup and then if I want to have gluten I'll have the bun but if I don't want to have gluten which is like pretty much how I eat now I will do the lettuce wrap and I will get two of those because I feel like it, one is just not enough sustenance so I get two and then I also get the fries and I don't like them super well done I like them like barely crispy I honestly am not the biggest fan of in and out fries I feel like they're probably the worst fries in the fast food game. I think Shake Shack has amazing crinkle cut fries. I usually just get water, but their shakes, when I was eating dairy, oh my gosh, their chocolate and vanilla shake is like to die for. So that's my in and out order. How do you deal with anxiety? I feel like this year has been such a crazy whirlwind journey with my anxiety, especially earlier this year. I was really struggling and I feel like I couldn't get out of this funk. I was dealing with anxiety every day. I was super shaky. I was crying all the time. Like it was just a, honestly a very depressing period. And I started going to therapy, which I had gone to therapy like previously when I was younger. I started up going again. I was able to verbalize and talk through all of my fears and anxiety and everything that I was struggling with and my thoughts and it helped me so much and I still continue to go every week even though I feel like my anxiety is not even nearly as bad as it was earlier this year but it's something you continue to you know struggle with and deal with but I feel like going to therapy every week and being able to again verbalize all my thoughts and emotions and fears and kind of just like everything that that's going on in my world has been so insanely helpful. The other things that I feel like really help me with anxiety is working out. It releases so much of this negative energy that I have and I love it whenever I'm super anxious. I go to the gym, I go on a walk, I go on a run, I'll bike ride, whatever I can do to just be physically active, I feel like has helped me so much. What are books, movies, TV shows that you recommend? I will just tell you what I'm currently watching and reading right now. So the three books that I recommend are Silent Patient, Verity, and It Ends With Us. I read each of those books in like a day because they captured my attention so quick and the stories are intense and beautiful and Silent Patient and Verity are definitely more like mystery thriller and then I would say It Ends With Us is like romance? I don't even know really, but they're fiction and that's my favorite types of books which are fiction and I just gave Sheila It Ends With Us and she really likes it which makes me so happy because when I find a book that I like and I recommend it to someone, I'm like on the edge of my seat waiting to see their reaction. And then for movies and TV, I just watched House of Gucci which was really good. I did think it was a little bit long, but I thought the acting was phenomenal and everything about the outfits and just the sets, it was insanely stunning. TV shows, what have I been watching? Why Women Kill, uh, Yellowstone. Those are the two that I have been watching. And I watched You, I watched the third season of You. Is that what just came out? And then I just started selling Sunset today, but that's kind of like, I don't normally watch reality TV, but I just love selling Sunset and I think it's so entertaining. So I feel like those are the ones that I would recommend. Also it's so crazy because the Netflix here in Canada is so different than the one in the US and there's so many more options. I feel like because they don't have certain streaming services. So they just put everything in Netflix and it has been the best. Seriously, I've caught up on so many good movies. Oh, I just watched The Holiday for the first time ever and I was obsessed. Jude Law has been one of like my celebrity crushes for so long and I just love him. And I thought it was really, really good. So. Those are the ones that I would recommend. How has it been living on your own? I love living on my own. Oh, I don't technically live on my own. I mean, I do, but I live with Chila, my best friend, which is so funny because we are inseparable. So I feel like I really don't live alone. I love obviously just living on my own in terms of like being away from my family. And I feel like I had an apartment like two or three years ago. And then when the pandemic hit, I moved back in because I just didn't know what was gonna happen. And I didn't want to renew my lease, blah, 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 a bunch of boring stuff. And then I moved back out. I mean, I'm 23 and it's just nice to have my privacy and my own space and be able to decorate it the way that I want and you know, have it quiet and it's really peaceful and and then if I want to turn up and like have people over and have game nights and whatever I don't have to really worry about like my family being home. So I really love it. I love your style recently Where are some of your favorite places to shop? 
Well, thank you very much. I would say my top two places that I've been shopping recently are Princess Polly and Aster the Label. Princess Polly, you guys know I love. If you guys saw my last video, my haul. And Aster the Label, I've been wearing them for a while now. And if you guys wanna see me do a haul of some pieces, let me know because I feel like their stuff is really classic, really timeless, but also trendy at the same time. The whole team is so kind and amazing and all of their pieces are just absolutely beautiful. And I feel like between all my friends, we have everything that Aster's ever come out with because we just are obsessed. So those would probably be the top two places that I've gotten stuff from. And if you're looking for like holiday outfits or new year's outfits, Highly, highly, highly recommend Aster. They're amazing for all of like the seasonal stuff. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I just kind of wanted to catch up with you guys and answer some quick questions. Also, don't forget to check out glassesusa.com. I'm gonna have them linked down in the description. And if you're looking for a new pair of frames for yourself or even for a Christmas gift for your friends and family, make sure you guys check them out. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you guys have the most amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.